love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror and peace What is up, Leo? Hey, baby, hey! This is your reading, okay? It's a general read, you guys. It's whatever comes out, okay? Whatever whatever I feel energetically, okay? Um, keep in mind the energies are fluid, all right? Don't get hung up on the signs or genders, okay? And um, stick around, Leo. Baby, I hope you guys, if you're new, please subscribe, all right? Always got some fun stuff going on here. Um, not in the last year, but, um, you know, it's been a busy year, but I... I got some plans for you guys in the next uh, few months, and I got some free goodies coming your way. Um, stick around for the free personal readings. I'm going to tell you guys how to get those, all right? And yes, they're free, okay? Free, two free personal readings. Um, we got the High Priestess coming out for you guys first. Wow, Leo. That's the energy you're coming into or the energy coming towards you, the energy you're embodying. You guys could feel discombobulated at this time, very clumsy is what I heard. Because <laughs> I feel very clumsy right now. Um, you could be feeling clumsy or you could feel like you don't do anything right right now, Leo. Like you're feeling like you're, you can't do anything right. Um, but you're really like you guys, you're setting the standard is what I heard. Okay. For some of you, um, you got a lot of people looking at you like, damn, I wish I could do that. And some of you feel like you're mediocre, but you're really not. You got people around you looking at you like, damn, I wish I would have thought of that. You know, that seems to be the theme. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, especially your Jupiter, your sun sign, your north node, um, your Venus, Mars, especially, um, check out the reading for Aries because I got a similar message for them. All right. I'm always getting that message for them. So you guys, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, um, you need to be watching Aries. Okay. Okay. Because that is a very significant sign. Um, that is a that is a very powerful sign, like you, Leo. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, the Scorpio here. You could be dealing with Scorpio. Some of you, they're saying a twin flame, a false twin. They're saying false twin. It's not a real twin. Okay, um, you got people looking at you. Uh, like you are between worlds right now with the justice card, okay? You're getting what you want, Leo. You're getting what you deserve. This is between worlds. This is like from rags to riches, okay? The wands are action oriented. You're very you are a very action oriented sign. I would say the most action oriented along with Aries because you are I will. Aries is I am. Okay, it's it's an it's affirmative, right? It's definite. You get the job done, Leo. You do it. All right, with no hesitation. You can be a bit impulsive, like I said. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, check it out. Or you have an Aries North Node, Libra South. We do have Libra energy here with the Justice card. This is Libra, um, but the Two of Wands. Um, your life could happen in twos. Okay, if you look at these two right here, doesn't it look like look two? Two. So 11, 11, I'm hearing 11, 11, you could 11, 11 could be a significant number in your life, or you could be seeing 11, 11 quite a bit on the clock. All right. Also with the four of wands, it is being, look at how it looks like 11, 11, right? That's, that's about coming into union. It's in the reverse in how you're being seen, Leo, but I feel like it's, um, it, it, you know, that we're, that could, the roles can be reversed. So it's some, it's how someone is being seen with the ace of pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands, but I feel like you're between worlds. Some of you are resisting it. Okay, you're resisting it. Wait, that was at the top. Doesn't even matter. They're in the same position. Um, yeah, they're showing me you're resisting with the Tower in Reverse with the Three of Pentacles. This could be about collaborating. Okay, Leo, you might not want to work with anybody at this time. You could feel very... Um, yeah, with the five of wands in the obstacle position, it's two of cups. You feel like people are competing with you, Leo. That's why you don't work with anyone. Because you don't help competition. You don't see them as competition. You work alone. Okay, you work for yourself. You do like to help others. But I'm seeing like 
Two of Cups in the obstacle position. There's a lot of disharmony because people want to compete with you, but they can't. That's what I'm hearing. They can't. Um, again, I keep hearing that they, they keep, they're wowed. Leo, I'm hearing they're wowed. Wowed by your presence. Wowed by your essence. Wowed by your work ethic. Your work ethic, okay? Your ability to create. They're very much blown away. But in it, but they, they can't help it. They want to compete with you, Leo. They feel like they cannot, though. But somebody is trying to either work or collaborate with you. This person is actually trying to just get ideas or they're trying to... I'm hearing they just want to rub shoulders. They want to rub elbows. That's what I heard. They want to know you, Leo. That's what I'm hearing. It does feel very opportunistic. Because the Three of Pentacles can be very opportunistic. But it's also about collaboration. And it's, if you know, with the tower in reverse, it's like you're not willing to start over. You feel like like collaborating is starting over, Leo. Yeah, I feel the same way, you guys. I do. I feel like, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I don't, if you're an Aries North Node specifically for someone, I don't know why I keep hearing Aries North Nodes. You don't want to work with anyone and you're not going to, okay? Tesla was very much like that. Tesla was an Aries North Node, a pioneer. Some of you, if you have an Aries North Node or you have a North Node that is like very, like a rev like it's about revolution, Aquarius energy, um, Uranian energy or Mars energy, okay? I feel like you guys definitely want to work alone. You're not willing to work alongside someone else. I feel like you also know somebody is trying to take something from you here. They're trying to steal your ideas with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups mirroring in the position of how they feel about you. Uh, like, I'm seeing someone crying here with the Five of Cups. And I feel like they're going to try to guilt you. This is someone from your past, Leo. You're no longer nostalgic about this person. This is the, the Six of Cup energy. You could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have the tower here. That's Scorpio for me. Also Libra. They could have Libra highly aspected in their chart. Libra placements, two placements or more, I'm hearing. You could be dealing with another Leo, all right? For some of you, you're dealing with the Pisces with the High Priestess, all right? Libra. I already said that. Aries with the Two of Wands. But, um... You don't have any animosity towards this individual. I feel like, again, um, somebody wants to come in here to work with you. And this person was once either a competitor or they are trying to get back in just to compete with you again. It's freaking weird. The Two of Cups is here. It's about union. We have also the Four of Wands. Both of these are about union. Both. This is a soulmate card. This is a twin flame card. This twin flame card is in reverse. So this person, whoever this is, that's coming in. They could be a twin. They could be a, I'm hearing specifically a false twin because they are trying to compete with you. They're low vibrational, Leo. So be mindful. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person could have blocked you, Leo. They regret it. Okay. If they don't regret it right now, they will. That's what I heard. All right, let me let me let me pause this video for one second. I gotta get a drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty, bitch. Hold on one second. Okay, they're wanting me to read this to you, Leo. Okay, um, with the four of wands. It's uh, it's definitely telling me, um, you know, the four of wands is it, it it represents fire. Okay, all all the wands are fire. In the reverse, it could be water. All right the alchemical symbol for water so it's, it basically looks like this like a triangle upside down um with the with the ace of pentacles in reverse i'm seeing a gift being like sort of revoked or like a car being repoed from someone here who's coming back from the past this could be a cancerian or a scorpio this person's car is being repo repoed I'm hearing their car is being repoed, okay? Something is being taken from them financially. There's instability. There's uncertainty. There's flightiness from this person. You're going to see it. Um, their home might be the last place um, they want to be at this time. They could be coming to you. I don't know why. I'm hearing this person could even lose their home, Leo, because of their flightiness. They could be on drugs, Leo. This person could be on... I'm, I'm not... I'm. I feel I fear I'm fearing the worst for whoever this is that's coming in because I feel like you've moved on, Leo, and you're no longer um, giving to the situation or the person. I'm getting like the person is um, tapped out. Your energy is they tapped out the energy um, of this dynamic. Okay, I feel like you guys 
um, your communication is out of sync and no matter how hard you seem to try with this person, um, translations get lost, okay? The more you attempt to explain yourself to them or if they are someone you've tried to help in the past, um, they're just, I feel like this person's always a victim, okay? I, Leo, I'm just saying, um, they, they, they could be a false twin. This person could have tried to come off as they as if they were your twin, they're the, the official <laughs> twin flame, but they're not. They're, there's just an obsession about you, okay? There's something about you, Leo, they can't, for, you are, I feel like you're just here to teach this person. You're here to trigger them. Leo, you might not like triggering people, but um, with the five of wands, you trigger this person. They, they, they feel like um, you're, you, I don't know, maybe for, for, for a lot of you um, with the high priestess, um, you're very knowledgeable. You're very, you know a lot about the um, occult, maybe um, forbidden, you have a lot of forbidden knowledge or there's something that you have that, you know, that they find threatening with the Knight of Swords. They're very combative. Okay. The high priestess is in front, is on top. Look, if you look, where's my wand at? Damn it. I never use my wand. I don't know why I don't use it. Why do you buy shit and not use it? Like, why do you even... So over here we have the high priestess and then we have our knight of swords in the reverse. So it's like you know you're no longer wanting to budge, you're no longer no longer wanting to fight with this individual. You're between worlds with the two of wands and the justice card. I feel like you're this is their karma. Um, they may have blocked you, Leo. For somebody here, I'm hearing with the knight of swords, they may have blocked you, but they immediately regret it here. If you look, cuz like it's in the obstacle position, the five of wands and the two of cups is in the obstacle position. Like someone is being blocked. I feel like your ancestors are blocking this person from coming in. Um, they, I feel like they block themselves though. Okay, this is this is, seems to be the theme in their life. They block themselves. They they dis, they disrupt their own lives. They disrupt their business. They disrupt their growth. Um, but they're looking at you, Leo, because they want to work with you, but you're not willing to work with this person with the tower in reverse. Um, I'm also getting like there's something happened. There's something already that there's something that is you predicted that already happened in this person's life. Okay. Now they're wanting to come in and, and collaborate. Leo, you feel like this person uses you. You don't feel like they're genuine. Okay. I, do, I get it. Like you guys, you, some of you don't feel like they're genuine and you can't trust them. Okay, I feel like you've been straight with this person, you've been straightforward, you've been honest, and you've been trustworthy, and now you feel like you're questioning this person's, um, they're, you're, you're questioning their um, position in your life. You're wondering why they're here, if they're here to just teach you a lesson. You don't see value in this connection anymore. Um, anyways, um, if, you, if you're deciding to commit to this person in any way, whether this be a relationship romantically or just business oriented i'm getting like there's going to be a struggle so don't expect it to be a new don't expect it um if this is you leo be easy on yourself and give yourself space to decide if this is if this person feels like home to you okay you know i i get that for some of you there's some confusion around this individual with the with the four of wands in reverse because you don't know their intentions, but they've shown you their intentions before. So go back in time and look, because it's in there. Your, your guides are telling you, you already have everything you need. Your answers are there. The high priestess is here to show you, um, to basically tell you, hey, you're having dreams, Leo. You're having dreams. This person is trying to even enter your dream, like your third eye, I'm getting like your dream space. You're having intuitive visions. You're getting, you're getting, you're getting downloads, okay? I feel like too with you, with the two of wands, like because you're between worlds, um, you know, I don't know what, I don't know the timeline of when all this happened, okay? That's the one thing I can never really be sure of is I don't know when this happened, so I can't really, I can't really tell you what's going to happen. I can't tell you. I can tell you what I see, all right? Um, with the two of wands and I feel like for some of you either you were either you're between worlds now and they're seeing it and that's why they're returning here or maybe you guys because the knight of swords is very very combative you know and this is a traveling card but this card this person this individual only comes in to argue okay so this, I don't know for some of you I, who I can't remember who I got that message for and I'm not sure if it was Aries, 
Oh, it's Gemini. Gemini. You could be doing a damn Gemini. Fuck. <laughs> and say that's a false twin, though. Like, maybe you're a Gemini rising or this person has Scorpio in their chart. Oh, baby, honey, sweetie. The Scorpios and the Gen Geminis is a no-go for me, okay? If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, you Gemini Chiron, Gemini rising, and you're fucking around with a Scorpio Leo, oh, my God. Brace yourself. Or you're dealing with a Gemini Leo. This person may be obsessed. With your energy, just 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 being in your energy. They don't even really like you, Leo, or they love you, or they. There's something about like there's no balance. I'm hearing there's no balance with the, the the justice card. There's no balance in this person's life. Where there's balance in your life, you have you're you're coming between worlds, and this person's stagnant. Okay, either you or this person. You know the roles can be reversed, but like they're looking at you. They're obsessed with your energy. They're obsessed with watching you with the five of wands. But they can't compete with you, Leo. This person is, is um, I feel like they're very delusional. They think that they, um, like, how do I say this? They, there's nothing that they can really do except watch you at this time. Because the Five of Wands is in the obstacle position, position with the Two of Cups, right? It's like they want to come together to reap rewards, to benefit. Okay, to benefit from whatever it is you're doing, but they can't, Leo, because you're no longer nostalgic about this individual. I feel like you you let them close the door, and you did you. I maybe even you may even sabotage this connection on purpose, telling this person something about themselves because you knew they'd be triggered, Leo. Okay, I I feel like you you knew they would block you, and and you did it because you didn't want to do it yourself. Leos are like that. Leos will sabotage connections with people so they can make the move because Leos are very loyal and they are good people. I feel like you guys though, when you see something in somebody you don't like, you 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 show them a little something, and you see if they re their reaction is toxic. And then you get a glimpse of who they really are. And then they block you because they don't like how you made them feel. So, Leo, you know, like, I'm getting, you're very, you're very, people don't know this, but Leos are very intuitive. And they know how to move. And they're very strategic, especially if you got, like, a Virgo fifth house or you have, like, a um, Gemini rising, okay, or you have a Gemini Chiron. You're very strategic, you know exactly what you need to do, okay? You know what to do. You know who. You know what move to make. You know what to say to people to do, to get them to bounce, to get them to move. You're a chess player, okay? I heard she's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> she's a runner. She's a track star. Oh my god, okay? Like somebody, you're a runner, Leo. Maybe this is a runner chaser dynamic or this is a false twain dynamic. But like for some of you, you knew something about somebody and you wanted them to make the decision for you, Leo, because you're you're on you're on to some big shit. OK, you knew you were coming into something big. You knew you were coming into um, alignment with your higher self. You were going to make moves. You know that you're going to be famous or you know that you're going to be like, I don't know, you're going to be worth like. I don't know, millions someday. I don't know. There's something here. You knew that this person couldn't come with you. So you pushed them away, but you sabotage. Like, and it wasn't unhealthy. You know that how people do that? You know how people do that? They un they go around and they sabotage relationships and it's because they're afraid of commitment or they have like abandonment issues. You didn't do it because of that. You did it because you didn't like this person's character. And that person showed their ass. And now they regret it because they made, they, they acted impulsively. They blocked you, Leo. They maybe even tooted their, they maybe even tooted their own horn on the way out. Like, yeah, uh-huh, I blocked you. Eh. But you didn't care, Leo. You moved on. And now when you're looking back, you're like, okay, you're definitely dealing with a water sign for some of you. Okay. A lot of you, you're dealing with a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm hearing Cancer and Scorpio specifically. They thought you were going to be crying over them, Leo, but you weren't, okay? Because with the five of cups here in the position of how they feel about you, they're the ones crying, babe. They're the ones crying. Because I think this person even tried to guilt trip you, Leo. Maybe you in the past weren't so nice to them and you did something, but maybe you only did it because they did something and they try to use that, whatever it was, as a tool to get you to feel some type of way, but it didn't work, Leo, because you saw why they were doing it. And you didn't tell them anything. You didn't make a move. You didn't act. 
they're upset now because they didn't they their 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 move didn't work or their strategies aren't working on you because you already know what the hell to do. Like I feel like you did this on purpose. You told this person something about themselves. Maybe you caught them doing something. I don't know. And then they tried to guilt you. They tried to guilt trip you. Well, you did this, da 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 da, and you're like, well, it is what it is. You you can make you can make excuses all you want about your behavior, but um. Maybe you were trying to look out for this person and they just see you as the enemy. I don't know. I'm getting for a lot of you, Leo. Um, you may have even like told this person not to do something that wasn't good for them. And they, they took it as like, I don't know, like you were trying to smite them or maybe make them feel slighted. But you weren't. You did it from a place of love and they took it the wrong way. I feel like this is a very fly off the wall kind of person. Fly off the handle kind of person. Like an Aries or Scorpio. You know, somebody who doesn't think before they act. And, you know, in a lot of ways it's good, but it's bad for these things. Okay? Especially when you care about people. I think they do care about you, Leo. But they have um, issues they need to work through. Speci specifically around childhood wounds, I'm hearing. This is why they act like this. This is why they treat people like this. Maybe they mistreated you, Leo, and you just pushed it to the side. You didn't even take action to block anyone. I feel like they did it for you, okay? It's because you made them feel some type of way. Like, I think you made them feel bad, Leo, but you didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. And I think, too, maybe whatever it is you told them, nobody else knew. Because, you know, the high pri <laughs> It's fucking scary because the high priestess will tell you about yourself. Actually, she doesn't speak at all. She actually doesn't speak. She just, she just knows, you know. And um, what's funny is she'll just... When she does speak, it's valid. It's like really... It's kind of like Virgo. Like, they don't speak unless, you know, it's important. You know, if it's not important, why the fuck am I going to speak? This... You may have said something, hey, um, is everything okay? Are you having money issues? I don't know. And they got real defensive. Um, you knew. No one had to tell you. You knew. And this person got all scared. Like, how the hell do you know? They're upset. And they also feel a little inferior about it because they didn't want you to know whatever this was. You were the last person they wanted to know, Leo. And because you know, it scared them. So they blocked you because they thought you were going to out them. Maybe they thought you were going to tell people. I don't know, but they, they're they scared, Leo, and they feel like they feel like you're the enemy. I don't know. For some of you, you're, you're, you, don't, you don't care. You're like, whatever happens, happens. This person knows that I'm there for them when they need me. I just, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. If they want to block me, let them block me. Like, that's how you feel right now, Leo. I think like you guys, you know, you rule love. You, you Love is your house, okay? You are ruled and driven by love, right? And the sun, which is powerful. It's the solar plexus. It comes from the center, baby. So you, whatever you say, I feel is very profound. And you didn't, you waited to say, you waited to tell this person. You took your time and you did, you made sure you knew before you said anything. You made sure you had all your ducks in a row before you told this person, hey, this, this, and this. I just want you to know, like, um, you know, you're making a mistake or I don't know if they maybe that you caught this person doing something they shouldn't be doing or maybe you just told them, hey, why would you repeat that cycle? Like you already went through this. If you were trying to help somebody, they, they're playing victim right now, Leo. And you need to let them just play it out. Just let it play out as it should. Let the call, let the cards fall where they may. All right. Because I feel like whatever you said to them triggered them and they feel like they're being attacked when in actuality, when actuality they're just projecting because this person low key was, they have animosity towards you. But you may, you already knew that, but you, you didn't care, Leo. You still love them. You still cared for them. You still supported them. And um, you acted like none of that shit mattered. You actually, <laughs> you acted like none of that actually existed. It was non-existent to you because you cared. You saw this person as a soulmate. But this person may have tried to pass themselves off as a twin. Oh, that's my time. That's my time. They may have passed themselves off as a twin flame. See, we, we have this in the position of um, how you're being seen. See, it's a twin flame, but it's in the reverse. It's not who you are. See, it, this is the gift. See, it's a gift. What you, what you have, what you are, is a gift from the divine, a gift from the universe, a gift from the gods. Being a twin 
is not for the faint of heart. It's not just, not, not everyone has a twin. Only, there's only a hundred, there's only 144,000 light workers. Do the math. How many of those do you think are twin flames? That's not even, that's not, that's, a, that's not even 0.1% of the, the earth's population. Do you understand that you are, if, if you are a twin, if you really are a twin, not all of you are, but if you really are a twin flame, okay, it's not for everybody, but you have a higher purpose here and you're going to be triggering people, not just this individual. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. They may trigger people. Okay. I know Scorpios, when you come in contact with them, they can transform a lot of people. If they're in their high vibration, they are very powerful. But in their low vibration, they're very destructive, okay? And you could be dealing with a Scorpio who's destroying themselves or an um, um, Aries who's destroying themselves. Someone who has a Mars Mars or Pluto placement specifically or Venus, someone who has something in their Venus. I'm hearing um, Aries, Venus, Scorpio, Venus, Libra. Um, they could have Libra in their chart somewhere, maybe in their Jupiter. Um, this person is actually... They're actually a great person, but they're not doing... There's something in their life that is holding them back. And I feel like they're trying to use like something from the past as a scapegoat and or you as a scapegoat or they're trying to guilt trip you and it's not fair but you let it go you didn't even bother leo okay you didn't even bother addressing it anymore you already said your piece you're moving forward um this person is still watching you leo okay they're still watching you i don't know why they're watching because they fucking blocked you which is fucking weird i'm also hearing they blocked you on one account like, if they block, say they blocked you on Instagram, okay? They didn't block you on Facebook. They didn't block you on TikTok. How come they didn't block you on those accounts? They don't really want to close the door. That's what, that's how you know, Leo. If this person only blocks you some one place, then that means they don't want to close the door. This person is bluffing. They're guilty and they know it, all right? And I'm going to get one Oracle message for you guys before we go. Leo, you're on to some big shit. You have the two of wands. You guys are making money. You guys are going towards your, your, you're reaching your high, you're reaching towards your goals and you're grabbing them by the balls. Okay. I also see like your North node, you're in alignment with your North node, your higher, your higher self in the gods. I feel like they're coming in and they're rewarding you with the justice card. Um, they are giving you, they're giving you, um, maybe you just had a Saturn return. I'm hearing for somebody here. You just had a Saturn return, okay? You're between the ages of 28 and 33. I'm gonna get one oracle. Oh, okay, we have beauty. Also, oh my God, Leah, who else got this? Was it Taurus? That would not surprise me, okay? Like, hello, that's a Venusian energy. You could be dealing with a Taurian um, or their opposite, a Scorpio, but this is talking about your beauty, Leo. You could be a Leo Venus, a Taurus Venus, or you could be a Leo Rising, a Leo Jupiter, a Leo North Node, Leo Sun. Leo Sun, okay? Leos are really beautiful. I see every Leo I've ever met was really gorgeous. I never, I've never met an ugly Leo. <laughs> Not to be shallow, I'm just saying. There's a lot of, like, they're just stunners, okay? I see some stunners. Um, this could be about your beauty. This person could feel some some type of way about your, your bone structure. I don't know, your, your aesthetic. Um, I just heard they don't, they don't value you because of your beauty. You could be dealing with the opposite sex, Leo, who thinks less of you, who thinks you're the weaker sex, but you're not. You may have told something to this person and they just, they don't want to take your advice because of your looks. Oh my God. Don't ever do that. Please don't do that. She's beautiful, but no way she's smart. There's no way she has intelligence, right? It's like judging a book by its cover, right? So like, I don't know, like maybe this person judged you um, before they got to know you or they thought they knew you and they this <laughs> surprise, bitch. And this, and you're only getting, you're just getting started. I'm hearing you're just getting started. Anyway, some of you, I mean, hearing something about modeling here with the two of wands, okay? So somebody could be, um, you could be going from, oh girl, I had rags to riches again. You got some, somebody who wants to use your face, Leo. If you're an Aries North Node, um, somebody could want to use your face. Aries Jupiter, okay? They want to use your face, baby. They want to use your face in their magazine or on their... Um, they want to put you on their billboard, okay? I heard Las Vegas, okay? Um, this, could be an this could be an esthetician that wants to use your face. 
Okay, yes. Shout out to all the estheticians. Someone wants to use your face, Leo. You got like 10 people trying to get you to come model for them. <laughs> Leo, you're going to be booked, busy, and blessed. I love you so much. You guys, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They're the first two links. If you're trying to book a reading with me, all that information is in the About section. Please follow the instructions accordingly. I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend or whenever you see this video. Love you so. Namaste.